Hello everyone. Um, well, welcome uh, all the prince and princesses, kings and queens to our Facebook Live storytelling. I am Belle and it is nice to be outside in the fresh air. It may not be a beautiful day today, but it's still outside. I'm here at the park and I'm here with my friends. We're going to be doing some storytelling for you. Rapunzel and Sophia the first. So now today, grab a snack, grab a snack and sit down and relax. And I'm going to start things off by reading you my favorite story and then how I met the beast. Book is Beauty and the Beast. Yes, I do. Gaston, a hunter from my small town, wonders why I don't love him. I think he's boring and selfish. Selfish is when you love yourself too much. When Belle's father gets lost in the woods, he finds a castle owned by a scary beast. I bravely set out to find him. The beast frightens me, but my love for my father is so much that I take his place and promise to stay with him forever. Can you imagine? Oh, that was so scary. But I found some lovely friends at the castle. Did you know I was enchanted? And with enchanted objects living inside the castle? That was amazing. They all became my friends. Do you remember what their names were? Lumiere, Clocksworth, Mrs. Pot, and the little guy Chip. Oh, I do adore them, and there were so many more. Well, one day, I adventured off into the castle, even though I was told not to. And I found a magic rose. The spell that was on the castle, and all who lived there. But the beast had to learn to love and find someone to love him in return. Slowly, the beast and I were spending more time together. I saw a different side to him that wasn't there before. That was a fun day. The beast cared for me. That was when he gave me his magic mirror and told me to go find my father. So I went to go find my father. And I left the beast. I returned to the town and I rescued my father. Hearing me describe the beast made Gaston jealous. He was not very happy. So he led the townspeople to the beast, to the castle. Oh, that was so scary. Chip and I tried to escape, and we did. Eventually, I made it to the castle, but not in time. I rushed back and found the beast wounded. But I realized I had fallen in love with him.
and the beast fell in love with me. And you know what happened? We broke the spell. Our love for each other. And the beast transformed back into the prince. And what did we do? We lived happily ever after. The end. I hope you enjoyed my story. I love it so dearly. What was your favorite part of the story? I'd like to hear. Or read. <laughs> Sorry. And so now, I will see you all later. It is going to be my friend Rapunzel's turn. I hope you enjoyed my friend uh, Bill's story. Now it's my turn. I'm going to read us a story on an iPad. <laughs> How fun! I'm going to be sharing the story about how I met my family, and how I met Flynn, and how I got my happily ever after. Rapunzel lives in a tower. She sees lights and colors. Rapunzel painted the walls. She used so many colors. I love to paint. Pascal is Rapunzel's friend who changes color. Rapunzel wants to see more colors. And I Red flowers. Gray bunny. Flynn and Rapunzel are surprised. I love all kinds of animals. Rapunzel wears a purple dress. Purple's my favorite color. Long yellow hair. It's got magical powers. White horse, brown saddle, black hoof. Big blue sky. Maybe not right now, but who says? The kingdom is full of colors. Rapunzel finds a pretty picture. She sees the colors blue, yellow, purple, red, green, and brown. Rapunzel and Flynn have so much fun. Rapunzel sees the lights up close. They make the sky bright. I've always dreamed of seeing the lanterns. They always come out on my birthday. Rapunzel is happy. She loves colors. She oh, never loves mind. the lights. Never mind. I hope you enjoyed that story. Oh my goodness. What was your favorite part? Well, I hope it brightens up a little bit. And we're going to have my friend Sophia come soon. She might be running a little bit late, but Hopefully she'll be here very soon. She'll be able to tell her story about how uh, she became a princess. Tell me where she is. I texted her. In the meantime, how about we see if we can go for a walk? Take a walk around the garden. Look, here's some lilies. That looks like the flower that has healing powers.
Look at these purple ones. Looks like they're called penta. Look at how pretty they are. Have you gone outside lately? These might be some of my favorites. These are gardenias. They smell so beautiful. Here's some more lilies. I saw so many of them around Easter. Here's our friend Belle. Do you want to give us a princess to row, Belle? Wow, look at that dress. It's a little gloomy out today. Does anybody have any questions on what it's like to be a princess? Tell us in the comments. I think I see someone coming. Oh my goodness. I wonder who it could be. Let's go see. Let's see who it could be. It looks like it's Princess Sophia. And she has a dragon trainer with her. It looks like she got a little lost, but luckily he was here to help her. Oh, yes. Are you Look at all the butterflies. It looks like we have a dragon trainer here with us. Would you like to introduce yourself? Chief Hickok, from Ireland, and my dragons are around flying, so we all good. <laughs> Hope you guys are having a good, good day. Looks like Sophia's ready for us. She's going to tell us a lovely story about how she became a princess. Hello everybody! How are you today? So we're going to read a story about becoming a princess. Let me make sure you guys can actually see the story. King Roland gave me this beautiful necklace to welcome me to the family. He told me it was called an amulet. It's been worn by many princesses before me. This is my little amulet right here. When I wear my amulet, it feels like a, I feel like a princess. My amulet has magical powers 
I'm learning how to use my magic, and there's a lot to learn. Becoming a princess isn't the only new thing that has happened to me. I have a new sister named Amber. Do you guys see my sister? And there's me. At first, she wasn't very nice to me. She was worried that everyone would like me more than her. But no one could be as good as Princess Amber. I also have a new brother named James. He has taught me a lot of things, like how to ride horses, and James always keeps an eye out for me. There sure is a lot to learn when you are a princess. Luckily, I have a lot of people to help me. I go to the Royal Prep Academy. See me and my little buffs? And then we have all of our teachers on the little... My, my teachers are fairies. Their names are Flora, Fauna, and Merryweather. They teach me everything I need to know. One thing I have learned is that I can't be afraid to try something new. When I'm not at my school, I like to play with my forest friends. My amulet gives me the power to talk to my animal friends. Clover is my best friend. And then there are Mia, Robin, and whatnot. They're all, help me, they're all helping me get settled into the castle. When I'm worried about learning something new, Clover tells me to keep my eye on the ball. With the help of my family and friends, my magical amulet, I'm going to be the best princess ever. Yay! Alrighty, I think Bella's going to come right back in. Have a wonderful day! little story time. This was our first one so I hope you enjoyed it and if you'd like us to do another one let us know in the comments below. Uh, so you all have a magical day. Um, this is just the little magic princess events. We hope to see you real soon. Bye! Finish it. That's all.